Where's Emily? What do you mean? Well, she's not here. Is she with you? No, I left her at the table to color. Oh, my God, she's gone. What do you mean, gone? Where the hell is my daughter? Come on, if you're hiding, get out now. Okay, I, I don't understand. Excuse me, guys, I, did you see my daughter? Her. She was sitting with us right here. Oh, I, I didn't see her leave. Okay, I was in the ladies' room for one day. Why would you leave her alone? You were outside. You, she couldn't have gone past Emma! me. Emma! Emma, come here! Hi. Hello? Emma, no, no, Emma's missing. I don't, I don't know where she is. What do you mean, is. she's missing? Since when? Uh, less than ten, ten minutes. Ten? God. Emma! Commissioner Devane, I need a unit outside Kelly's immediately. Emma, come on. Okay. Emma! It's gonna be okay, Patrick. Anna's here, and we're gonna find... Emma! Emma. Uh, the officers are canvassing the area, so you didn't see her leave out no, the front no. door? Nobody saw the little girl leave out the front door. All right, so that means she must have slipped out the back, but the kitchen staff said they didn't see her. They didn't just slip out. She okay. didn't just slip out. You know her. She's not going to voluntarily just walk out of here. Well, then we need to think about it. Somebody took her? I'm going to issue an Amber Alert. All right. Well, Dr. Westmore, have you and Emma been getting along? You Emma and I, we were, we were getting along fine. Um, when Patrick went outside to make a phone call, we got to talking, and she seemed to be opening up to me finally. Did she say anything at all about running away or mention it or...? No, nothing. Okay. All right, I'm going outside to check on everything, okay? Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's good. Okay. Of course she is. Please don't. I'm sorry. I'm just... I know you're right. We have to think positive. I'm, I'm sorry. I, don't, I know this... I know it's not your fault. Are you... Please tell me you found her. No, 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 nothing. She didn't go home, and she's not at Max, and she didn't walk to the hospital. But she hasn't been taken in as a patient either, all right? So she's going to be all right, Patrick. Look, I need you to concentrate and focus. Can you do that? Just for a minute. Yeah. Please. Yeah, what? Is there some place that she would go? Is there anyone that she would turn to if she were this upset? Sabrina? Emma? Honey! What are you doing out here? I'm feeding the dogs. I can see that, but sweetheart, where's your daddy? Why are you out here all by yourself? Without an adult, it's very dangerous. Here you go. Okay. Honey. Why? I'm out there. I told you to feed the dogs. Sweetheart, do you know where your daddy is? Yes. Does he know where you are? No. Okay, well, we're just gonna call him. Oh, I must have left it at the Haunted Star. Okay, it's okay. Look, why don't you tell me the last place you saw your daddy and we'll go find him, all right? No, I don't want to see daddy, because he's with her. Hey, I'm sure it's going to be okay. We still don't have any reason to think Emma's kidnapped. I've got to consider every possibility. I know, but it doesn't have to be something sinister. I mean, if, if Emma couldn't find Sabrina, maybe she just went to a friend's house. You know, you're right. I gotta call everybody. Maybe somebody picked her up by accident. Maybe there was a misunderstanding. God. What if somebody took her? I'm sure that's not what happened. I just, I can't think of any reason why she would leave without, without telling me. Is there anything that happened between you and Emma when you were alone? Like what? Anything. Was she upset that I was on the phone? No, she, she didn't say anything. She didn't say anything. Please. There's no reason why she would just get up and leave. Did you hear me? Yeah, you don't like me. No, I don't. But I guess that makes us even because you don't like me either. No, I don't. You're going to have to start getting used to me, honey, because I'm not going anywhere. Your daddy and I are going to be together for a very long time. No, I, I can't think of any reason why she would want to leave. Sweetheart, who's your daddy with that you don't want to see? Her. Do you mean Dr. Westbourne? Or, I mean, Britt? Emma, honey? 
You know, you can tell me anything, right? Anything at all, I'm not gonna be mad. Okay. So why don't you tell me why you don't wanna see Britt? Cause I don't like her, and she's mean. Emma, did she hurt you? She said mean things to me. She doesn't like me. What? She said that to you? But I don't care, cause I don't like her either. <sighs> that makes two of us. Sweetheart, I want you to listen to me, okay? It doesn't matter what Britt thinks about you. Especially if she is too silly to see how wonderful you are. But your daddy, oh, he loves you so much. You are the most important person in the world to him. And right now he has no idea where you are. He's got to be really worried. Is he sad? I bet you that he is. But when he finds you, he's going to be so happy. So why don't we make him happy, all right? Tell me the last place you saw him. Emma. Oh my God. Oh my God. You okay? Yeah? You're okay. I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to see you too, Daddy. Do you know how worried we were about you? No. How worried? How worried, how worried. We're not going to let you out of our sight until you're at least 30. Ever. 30. Oh, did I say 30? I meant 50. <laughs> Hi, this is Commissioner Devane. Yeah, yes, yes, you can call off the search. Yeah, we got it in a break. She's safe and sound. How did you find her? Actually, I think she found me. She was on the pier feeding the ducks. I'd taken her there before, and she loves it. Emma gave them all names. <laughs> She did? Yeah. It's a place that always makes her happy. Listen to me. I can't ever, ever do that again, okay? Do you understand? Okay, Daddy. Are you mad at me? I'm not mad at you. I'm so happy to see you. Yes, yeah, sweetheart. You you really scared your daddy of me. You know that? Why did you do that, Emma? Why did you leave without telling me? Emma said it was because of you. This looks like she's freezing. I think we're going to take you into the kitchen, get you all warmed up, okay? Okay. You That's right? a great idea. You know, I think the cook was worried about you, too. I yeah. bet he can make you a hot chocolate. Oh, I'll have one of those. Do you want a hot chocolate? I'd huh? love one with marshmallows, please. Yeah. Sabrina. Yeah. What did she say? Uh, I'm, I'm sure Emma will just tell you. I'm not asking Emma. No, Sabrina's right. We should talk about this. Just the two of us. Dr. Westbourne told Emma that she doesn't like her. That's crazy. <laughs> why would I say anything like that to a child? I don't know. Why? Why would you? You tell me. You're overreacting, Sabrina. Obviously, Emma was making it up. I mean, she has a vivid imagination. You remember when she you was on the she phone? she was making it up? No, I don't. I think Emma was telling the truth. I don't know why Sabrina would want to attack me like this, but are you really going to take her word over mine? Thank you for finding me. Honey, you're so welcome. I'm so glad you're safe. Thank you. If you even think of trying to ruin what Patrick and I have, I promise you'll regret it. Now you listen to me. I could care less about your relationship with Patrick, but I am not going to let you hurt that little girl. And if you do, you'll be the one to regret it. Listen to me, you pathetic little interloper. I'm going to tell you what I told Emma yesterday. I am not going anywhere. Patrick and I are going to be together, and there is nothing that you or his spoiled bride of a daughter can do about it. Patrick, I, I didn't... I, um, how long have you been standing here? Long enough. I don't know what you you think you overheard, but you I'm sure You think that my daughter's a spoiled brat. You warned 
Sabrina and Emma that you're gonna be with me and there's nothing they could do about it. Is that about right? Well, Sabrina and I were in the middle of um, a private conversation and, and all right, I, I was being a little defensive, but I'm sure you misunderstood what no, I was actually, trying I to say. No, I think you were very clear. Excuse me, I'm just gonna move this. Sabrina, don't go. I want you to hear this. I don't want it to be any confusion or misunderstanding. Emma is the most important thing in the world to me, and I will never doubt her for any reason whatsoever. Uh, Patrick, I, th I think you're overreacting. I understand. Em Emma is very important to you. So if you would just listen to me for a minute, oh, I no, can no, explain myself. Oh, no, no, I did myself. listen to you. We just had a conversation right over there about how our relationship is probably confusing for Emma. It is confusing. She's a it's child. It's confusing because she can't understand why I would be with a woman who doesn't like her. Okay, I never said that. God, now you're just you're just lying to me. Look, you don't have to like my daughter, but you better treat her with respect and kindness. I did. You saw me. I made every overture to Emma that I possibly could. I understand could. that Emma might not have been as open to you, and some of that is my fault, but she is a child. You are supposed to be an adult, yet you make her feel so unwanted that she runs away. Okay, why are you determined to make this my fault? Do you have any idea what could have happened to her? If Sabrina didn't find her, she was on the pier by herself in the middle of winter, freezing cold, and it was slippery. Jason Morgan was murdered down there. I didn't tell Emma to run to the pier. And in, in fact, I think it was Sabrina who frequently took her there. As for why Emma went, as painful as this might be for you to accept, Patrick, it's possible that your little darling was just simply acting out. Well, you gave her good reason, didn't you? I defended you. I took your word over Sabrina's, and I took your word over my daughter's. And they were both right about you. Okay, I get it. You're angry. <laughs> Hell, so am I. You know, but that's no reason to overreact and, and, and throw away everything that we have. No, 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 we, we don't have anything. What are you talking about? We care about each other. I could never care about somebody that doesn't care about my daughter. Emma is my life. Whatever we had is over. Over? Like, you're breaking up with me over one disagreement? I'm not the right guy for you. We're in different places in our lives. We have different priorities. Trust me, this is for the best. Patrick, I, you're upset. I get it. But this is normal. We're just getting to know one another. It, it, this is this is gonna happen. There's gonna be bumps along the way. No, but Brent, that's this no is bigger reason. because I have to end this before it gets too serious. It already is serious, Patrick. We've had sex because we both wanted to. Because I thought that we both had feelings well, for I each am other. I'm sorry if I misled you, okay? But this is the way it's going to be. And I have no say in that. I'm making the best decisions that I can make for my family, for Emma and me. We will still work together, we'll still have a professional relationship, but that is the only relationship that we're gonna have. So I hope you understand. Oh, hi, hi. Yeah, I, I understand. This is your fault, you little bitch. This is my okay, fault. Don't I didn't play do it with me. We both know who you Rich really stuff. are. You Sabrina. can't talk to people like that. Are you seriously gonna defend her? Sabrina has been jumping through hoops to try to come between us. That's not true. You are such a little liar. Little Miss Perfect didn't want us to be together. You did everything you could to try to make me look bad. Coach Emma, poison her against me so you could play all the right, angel. That's are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? Do you think it's an accident that all the time Sabrina spent with Emma that Emma decides she doesn't like me? Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't tell Emma to ditch me. That is ridiculous. I would really? never tell Emma to run away. Sabrina has been using Emma, working that child every chance she gets so she can get closer to you. No. I love Emma. Okay, I would never another use truth, her. Patrick? Here it is. Sabrina wanted me out of the picture because she wants you all for herself. You okay? I'm fine. I'm sorry to drag you into the middle of all this. <laughs> no, that's, that's okay. I'm, I'm used to it. What does that mean? Well, Dr. Westburn can be a little demanding to work with. <laughs> Elizabeth warned me. You and Emma were on to her. <sighs> well, Emma's got really good instincts about people. <laughs> she does, especially about you. So what's this thing about Britt accusing you of wanting me for yourself? <laughs>